This is going to be your soulmate twin flame relationship reading. If it's meant for you, it's meant for you. We're going to take a look at the connection between you and your person. We're going to look at the previous energies, how you're feeling today, and what you can expect in the coming days. Now, as I'm filming this, it is a beautiful sunny morning, which feels absolutely wonderful. The sunshine is a sense of renewal. And you know, I'd like to think of every day as being a new day, which it is. And metaphorically, it means that we can leave behind anything that we experienced yesterday and start fresh. You know, so I think that's kind of the message here, especially with the new moon in Cancer that we just had. It's setting intentions, being open to new things, and also addressing the things that we've been sweeping under the rug. I think that's been the major theme really with this new moon in Cancer, Saturn retrograde that we've just entered into. There's a lot going on astrologically, you know, we're going to the next level in so many ways. Now let's take a look at some overall themes and messages. We have right now celebrations. Beautiful. You are ready to bring new and exciting things into your life. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. New and exciting things. For me, the new and exciting things that I've been doing is new content for my YouTube channel. Thank you so much to all of you who have watched me do my Kelly Talks, where I talk about my story, I interview. I just posted an interview with my friend Neil yesterday, and it was such a pleasure talking to him about masculine and feminine energies and getting his perspective. So if you'd like to have a look, please do. Um, some great things coming your way. I'm also doing oracle card reviews, tarot card reviews. So my first one is already up on my page. So thank you to those of you who have watched, commented, and who will watch. Now let's take a look at the second message we need to know overall today. And we have boundaries, absolutely. Now remember the difference between walls and boundaries. Walls keep us stuck. Those aren't boundaries. Boundaries mean you implement a line, <laughs> but yet you continue your growth and your evolution. So. Don't confuse putting walls up because walls are not going to help you when it comes to your personal growth and evolution. In fact, it almost helps the other person. When you put walls up, it forces other people to move on versus yourself. Now let's see. Yeah, not my circus, not my monkeys. Okay, this is a card of problem ownership. Now that's a lesson I learned very early in life from my mother where she said, listen, if it's, if it's, you know, your problem, it's your problem. If it's not, it's not. I mean, you have to ask yourself, are you responsible for everyone else? Do you need to be responsible for everyone else? Oftentimes we feel this obligation to take care of everybody because we're pressured into this overgiving society that we're in. It's okay to say no. It's okay to make that boundary and say, I'm sorry, I don't have the capacity or I'm sorry, I can't help you today, you know? So let's take a look at... The connection between you and your person and your head space, your person's head space, your heart space, their heart space, overall energy and underlying energy. And of course, feel free to swap sides if it makes more sense. Now we're going to be using the before tarot here to see the previous energies, you know, what you may have been experiencing throughout the week. And in your head space here, we have the nine of pentacles. I love this. This is like preparation for feeling good in your own skin doing nice things for yourself, living your authentic truth, preparing to live your authentic truth, taking off the mask. You know, there might have been this energy where things were heavy, emotions were heavy, you know, and all that was wanted was just peace. You know, peace from trying to overgive and overdo and convince and, and just... Maybe even keep a smile on your face when you didn't feel smiley, you know? So let's take a look at your person's headspace in the previous days. Ah, there's an element of coldness here. That's a card of feeling left out in the cold. And the Page of Wands is throwing caution to the wind. And it's like funny how we have cold and then hot. So there could have been some hot and cold energies in your person. Meaning this is like feeling left out in the cold or like preparing, you know, for that. And then this is like preparing for the journey, preparing to throw caution to the wind. It's almost like maybe they didn't know where they were going or what they were doing, how to navigate. Now in 
your heart space here, we have the Queen of Swords preparing for boundaries. This is exactly my point. Now with this, we have here these Six of Cups. You have been in a sense of nostalgia. You know, Six of Cups can be inner childhood wounds. You know, this can be the past creeping into the present. In your person's heart space, there's the, wow, there's the King of Swords right next to her. It's like you're both in preparation. The King of Swords is about truth and clarity and being logical and decisive. There is a bit of coolness here and detachment. And funny, we're talking about the cold. I'm curious what the card is underneath that page of wands. Yeah, there's work to do. They're getting ready to do some work. They were. You know, there may have been some detachment there just for the sake of moving things forward. You know, sometimes you got to let go a little bit in order to gain something. And that's the thing people don't really understand about relationships is that we have to allow people their freedom to heal, their freedom to work on themselves, to do things a little differently. Now, overall energy here, we have the Three of Cups. And Three of Cups is a card of celebration, preparing to celebrate. Now, I do say, because this is over the boundaries card, two's company, three's a crowd. If there are boundary issues in your life, you've got to make a move. And there you go. This is Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups, yes, is dreams and illusions. Vivid dreams are, wow, um, intense right now. But this is also about not making a decision. And somebody's just not making a decision. And in theory, that's making a decision. Now, underlying energy here is the Ace of Swords, preparing for that truth, that clarity, that epiphany. And it's interesting that it's right under that Queen and King of Swords. And there is the healing, the Four of Swords. It's really an interesting energy because it feels like a bit of driving with your foot on the brake. And you know that I use that term all the time where it feels sometimes like we're, okay, go, go, go. We're healing, we're doing this, we're being more logical, whatever it is. And then at the same time, there's this fear of like, oh my gosh, what if I make a mistake? How do I make this decision? I really want to celebrate, but oh, I've got these boundaries. I got this, that, and whatever. And we kind of get in our own way, you know? So let's take a look at the current energies. So in your headspace, there's the three of wands. Yeah, sitting on the sidelines. There's never a right time. This is saying, I'll do this today, tomorrow, next week, you know, next year, or whatever. There's never a right time. And the Four of Cups is overanalyzing to the point of possibly missing out on an opportunity. Now, in your person's headspace, there is the hanged man. Exactly. Things are a little bit in between right now. You know, last week on my live stream, I was saying how it feels like we're in between a full moon and a new moon, which was technically true. And now I feel like we're in between a new moon and a full moon because we have a second full moon in Capricorn happening, I believe, on July 21st. It's this, it's this, it's this like up and down kind of vibe, but we're in between. We're trying to close out the old. We're trying to start the new, but we're doing it at the exact same time, if that makes any sense. And with this, we have here the Daughter of Cups. So this is the Queen of Cups, which is basically saying trusting the intuition, you know, can't overgive. Gotta really just trust, you know. In your heart space, um, sorry, I was almost like wanting to flip that over, but it's uh, it's not. It's the Six of Cups, again. So that's very prominent in your energy right now. Nostalgia, thinking about the past. How many of you are feeling nostalgic? I'm really curious. What's your word of the day or how you're feeling? And there's that Four of Swords again. So six, six, four, four. You're in the process of healing those inner childhood wounds. Now, in your person's heart space, we have here the... Six of Wands, public recognition and victory. Preparing for that victory, doing the work, which is lovely. Um, but there is anxiety and worry over it all. And so this is where it's tricky. You know, the good things are coming in, but I think everybody's just anxious right now about what that looks like. Now, here's the Eight of Pentacles. There you go again, the work. Well, I always say work smart, not hard. But this essentially is the idea that you're weaving that web, right? You're making connections. Now with that, we have here death, Scorpio energy, death and rebirth, total transformation, it's happening. Underlying energy, Ace of Swords, again, we're really getting the repeat cards here, Ace of Swords, and um, that is truth and clarity and things coming to light. And with that here, the Eight of Wands. Now, you know what's really funny? In the... Um, 
I think in the opening moments that I was shuffling I and I was talking, I saw that Eight of Wands pop through actually in the before tarot. I didn't say anything in the moment. I just kind of took mental note. But Eight of Wands is communication, manifestation, shooting your shot. There's this lightning here coming through and it's it, it could literally be a lightning storm if that's something you're experiencing, but it's it's like this enlightenment, right? Because that is what truth and clarity is all about. Now let's take a look at the next few days. What can we anticipate? The Knight of Wands, passion in the pants. There's some heat here. Be careful with that motivation because it's got to sustain itself because that can be a hot and cold energy. But at the same time, this is the after tarot. So this is a very positive energy in relation to the Knight of Wands. It's more solid. And there's that Ace of Pentacles. I feel like we see it every week. That's that brand new beginning, that tangible start, that investment, that nourishment. Now... In your person's headspace, ooh, there's that four of cups, but now, now the person's like, mm -mm, not overanalyzing anymore. <laughs> okay. Justice, Libra energy, equal giving and receiving. This can be contracts, paperwork, legalities, but there's balance here, harmony. And in your heart space, there's temperance, patience, forgiveness, reconciliation, something brewing, turning something into something else. You know, I always say, take what you've learned from the past, apply it to the present so you have a better future. Oh my goodness, trust the process. Trust the process, Kelly, as I say to myself every day of my life. Um, the Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> I feel like I need to do a video just about this card alone. Um, but this is the reward of having trusted the process. This is the reward you get. This is what you get when you put that trust. But trust doesn't mean waiting and sitting there doing nothing. It means live your life. Let the things come to you as you grow. Now in your person's heart space, there's the Page of Swords. This is like logical and decisive. Now, yeah, the Page of Swords can be spying and observing, keeping tabs. Mm, the High Priestess, spiritual ascension, signs and synchronicities. Wow, there's growth. Overall energy, boom, there's the growth right there. The Ten of Cups, the family, the happiness, the emotions, all in check. You know, isn't it funny? We had the Six of Cups in all three layers. There you go. That wish fulfillment. Six of Cups is wish fulfillment, but it's almost like we're sort of, sort of taming those triggers from the past. Now, underlying energy, Queen of Cups again, a lot of repeat. This is now really trusting the intuition being in tune and healing again. Wow, that four swords loved coming out. Unbelievable, the repetitive cards, different decks, the healing, the healing is here. Wow. Um, let me just take a card for each side here to see what you need to know. Grace within the chaos, accepting life's complexities, the seduction of distraction. You know, I think that there has been an energy here of accepting the complexities, knowing that you've got a process, knowing that you have to trust the process, live authentic truth, finding the good within the, within the dark. You know, the sun always rises. It's always a new day. And here on this side, we have another chance to be. Mm, reclamation, second chances, rebirth, emotional healing. Look at that healing. Wow. You know, and there's the octopus here. Actually, that's about embracing complexities because the octopus is a very complex creature. So actually, it's like you're accepting the complexities of your person, of the connection, of yourself. There's real growth here. Wow. I really hope this resonates with you. Um, thank you, as always, for your kindness and support. You know, it really means the world to me with my videos and content. I love doing what I do. And if you'd like to do a personal reading with me, the link is in my bio. Thank you so much, and I wish you an amazing day.